clear glass back mod. And the video is actually about how I did this. I am going to start a giveaway when I hit a thousand subscribers. It will be a red iPhone 10R with the clear back mod. So I went ahead and started chipping away literally at the back of my phone. However, I did not protect my eyes with safety glasses. Let's be honest, I was lazy to go find a pair of glasses. So day one and day two went fairly smoothly, but day three, a piece of glass landed in my eye. So that was not fun. So I got it out and lo and behold, a few weeks later, it happened again. I figured I don't, didn't need these and it happened again. Very important, safety first. Be very careful when you're doing this. So how did I manage to chip away at the back? As you can see, there are some pit marks in the metal where I didn't have enough heat and that's not good. I used this utility knife right here with a bunch of blades like this and they just slide into the knife. When I crank the heat to the max, it came off so easily. I got really big chunks. It was shattered like so many cracks. Fast forward to the glass completely removed. I had to pry off that little bezel around the camera. That was way harder than it looked. It's not easy and it's scary because uh, you can't really see it with the camera, but well, you can see there's kind of like a square camera module that's metallic. It's part of the metal. It's like a square just around the circle. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, that seemed to start lifting out of the whole frame, which freaked me out because I didn't want to damage the camera. It eventually came off, but it got all bent out of shape, literally. So I tried to straighten it out. And then under the camera, there's a little microphone hole just above the flash. You can see it right there. Now that used to have a mesh and I was able to actually keep it, preserve it, when I used the double-sided tape. Now you can see there's no double-sided tape in the final version of this mod because it was useless. It did not stick, it was ugly, it was kind of wrinkly in some spots, it kind of got pushed up in a corner so it wasn't even wasn't even even. Yes, I'm very redundant. It wasn't even and I could feel the whole back glass shift when I was using my phone. So that had to go, but I didn't know what to use. So I, I threw some ideas around. I thought maybe some heavy duty silicone, but as soon as I unscrewed this cover, I realized that would be a problem. And then I realized it's glass. I've done uh, glass screen protectors before on Samsung curved devices and guess what kind of glue I used? That's right, Loca glue. So I tried that and lo and behold it worked. I just put a little bit on each corner and then took this UV light. I want to talk about scraping the paint off of this back glass. So I bought the red one to match the old one. However, the aftermarket red was more of a brown. It was kind of ugly. So I decided, you know what? Might as well try the clear mod. And the way I started is kind of like everything Apple Pro. He used one of these blades, these trapezoid shaped blades. The problem with this, it worked fine. I didn't have a holder like he did, so it was kind of hurting my fingers. So I looked and looked and looked and I found this guy. And this was a lifesaver because the blade is noticeably thinner. So not only does it cut through the paint better, but it also flexes. In the hard to reach spots, I could kind of do it at an angle. I'm not sure how close I have to get and the corner bent so it wouldn't scrape and make scratches in the glass. And then of course I had to 
I'm, I'm going back again a little bit. I had to scrape the glue residue off the metal. And again, I started with the blade from these knives and I was having a hard time. And then I remembered, hey, why not try the thinner blade? And again, it worked really well. I, so this is a must for sure. Loca glue, if you can get your hands on it, is a must. And oh yes, the mesh for the microphone hole. Whenever I took it apart the second time because the double-sided tape was just not cutting it, I had the mesh sitting on top of it and I went to look for the loca glue in another room. I got a message, came, picked up my phone to look at the message, not even realizing that I had left the mesh on there. I started working on it and probably five to ten minutes later I realized it dawned on me that I lost the mesh. The IP rating was out the window anyway and the, it's such a small hole that the amount of dust that would get in there would be minimal. That was my biggest concern. Finally, the camera bezel, that little aluminum ring that's around the camera. It's red, it is a nice touch, I tried not to... I tried to use the phone without it for a while, but it just, it kind of freaked me out. Every time I set my phone down onto a hard surface, I didn't want to chip the glass of the camera lens. I started filing the inside of the ring with um, kind of like a metal rod file, and I just kept working at it until it fit back onto the lens, because it was a little bit bent, even though I straightened it back out, and it had little jagged edges from when I pried it off. Uh, but eventually I finally got it back on and it's such a tight fit that I didn't even bother gluing it. It is a really cool one-of-a-kind phone. I will tell you that the earpiece is kind of um, staticky or fuzzy. You can still make phone calls but it's not a nice sound. So just keep that in mind if you do win this phone. It's still a great phone. Everything else is perfect. The battery life is phenomenal. I will repeat that from a previous video. So if you win this, you are in good shape. To make sure you don't miss that giveaway video, I would subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you see all the video, all the videos I make and you can just pop in and check for the first 30 seconds of the video and make sure it's not the giveaway video. As soon as I get a thousand subscribers, I will start thinking about how to do this giveaway. Until the next one, cheers.